Hey guys, in this video, we are going to install Java 8 in our system. So first, uh, we will search the Java 8 download for Windows. And uh, I need to go to this oracle.com. Then here, you can scroll down a bit. And you will see Java 8. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is Java 8. And uh, go down. Just you need to select. Uh, your operating system for me it is windows and according to your 64 or 30 bit computer architecture you can download uh, it from here so i am installing this one i'm downloading this one and the download will start after this okay so uh, you you must need to log in into the account so let's do this and it will start your download and i will go save it in my download folder all right so it's is downloading let's see after the download so after it finish uh, downloading this uh, then just open it and it will ask you to run some permissions okay and a pop-up will be displayed like this one so here you need to click next uh, where it goes oh, on my second screen so we will not change anything here just click on next copying new file and we will wait for the installation to complete all right so now it will ask for the gre installation so i will i will you know keep it as default and it next and it the process will started here so it's installing java in my machine guys uh, 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 just wait for a couple of minutes uh, let it finish okay so that is completed and uh, Java IC Development Kit 8 updated. This is the version 8.321 uh, uh, successfully installed in our system. So let's see the next step. So it will redirect you the documentation of Java. Uh, we will see these later point. Now we'll close it. So this is regarding the installation after that we need to configure some environment variable for that and why we need to configure those environment variable so to answer this let's see the installation files of java which we have installed so i am going into the c drive where i have installed my java and in the program files then we have java and we have this jdk and jre both are installed okay so let's open the cmd okay and just try to execute java all right java it is taken and just try to execute java c so java c is a compiler which is used to compile java program and it is giving that it is not recognized as an internal or external command so to make java compiler available in your whole system and in every location you need to set environment variable for this property so to set the environment variable just go jdk bin and here you will see java c uh, 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 java c this one and copy this path here and uh, go to your search search uh, environment variables and click on this one edit the system variables it will gives you one pop-up like this click on the environment variable and you will see the path here okay if the path variable is not there just click on new and create the path variable if it's already there then edit it and click on the new and add the path of bin directory here okay and click on ok and i will use it in the system variable also so edit it and new and the same path okay 
hit ok hit ok and now you need to restart your cmd restart it again and now i will try to do java c so okay so that means if you are getting these things that means uh, your java is correctly configured in your system okay so this is like setting the environment variable uh, and if you guys need to check the java version so from the command line also you can check like java version it will give you the exact version which is installed in your machine so this is it for the java installation and uh, setting the environment variable for java and we will discuss more in java 8 uh, and later in this series of tutorials that's all for this video thank you